Okay, welcome everybody to our Carry Operator 2.5 Watts new overview webinar. Today uh, with me is Heather Ponet, our VP of Products. She will uh, present you uh, the new features of the new Carrier Operator 2.5, which is already released. And I hope you will be the, as excited as we have been with the new functionalities and features of Carry Operator 2.5. So Heather, please, it's up to you. Great, thank you, Karsten. I'm looking forward to talking about our new Curio Operator release today. Um, thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your day for joining. I see some familiar, face, familiar names on the list here, and I see some new ones as well. So if this is the first time you've joined us, welcome. Um, today I'm going to give quite a short what's new overview of our latest release of Curio Operator. And you will find if you check back that we do more in-depth technical overviews um, in progression as well. So let's get started. So first a level set on why we build tools such as Curio Operator and what our goals are. Collaboration is essentially about getting people together and having them be able to communicate effectively so that they can get things done. This can be on the phone, it can be through email, it can be through chat, instant messaging. But in the end, what we're trying to do here is find a way for people to be able to communicate. And people are the reason we need these collaboration tools. So with this release, we've really focused on people being the reason for the new updates that we've built into Curio Operator. So whether you want to send a message, make a phone call, or however we want to communicate, solutions should make it easier for people to get together and collaborate. Let's go into a review of what Curio Operator already does before going into 2.5 for those who are new to the product. So Curio Operator, it's a voice over IP telephony solution. It's designed specifically with small, medium businesses in mind to help them communicate both internally and externally with enterprise class features. And it does this a lot less expensively than a traditional phone system. Everything internally goes over the LAN and everything externally can take optimal routes to ensure that the costs are kept as low as possible. So it provides enterprise class features that our users need and love to use. It's secure. It also has flexible deployment options. It can be purchased as a cloud option. It can be purchased as a hardware appliance with our V300 appliance. It can also be purchased as a software appliance on VMware or an installable image. So it's been a while since we had a major release of Curio Operator. However, we have had many minor releases in that time, including four earlier this year. We got up to Curio Operator 2.4.8 with maintenance and various quality improvements and other minor additions. Some of the things we added to various features were um, improvements to Carl Park, um, voice prompts, additional languages for the voice prompts, and we made it easier to add video codecs since the 2.4 release. In the 2.5 release, we did a complete internal upgrade of the voice over IP engine that powers Curio Operator. We completely changed the Curio Operator web client, and we now have a soft phone. This is essentially a desktop application, and it will run on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and more to say on that shortly. The complete internal upgrade gave us the highly versatile Opus codec. More on that in a moment, too. It also gave us the ability to use technology called WebRTC in our soft phone, and that enables us to provide video calling in our soft phone, too. We also did some improvements to performance for both our administrators and for the soft phone as well. We improved an internal web server that Curio Operator uses, and this brings a faster user experience for both the administrative interface and to the components of Curio Operator soft phone as well.
Hearing operator allows self-provisioning of phones. This means that a partner can take a phone out of the box, put it on the customer's desk, connect it, and it will configure with very, very minimal touch from the partner. We have been told that the hardest part of setting up a new phone with Kirio Operator is actually taking the phone out of the box. But we now provide this easy provisioning for even more phones than before. So we've added self-provisioning to the Ubiquiti UVP phones. We have some new Gramstream models, some new Snob models, um, and some new HTEC models as well. And we improved the sending of emails through Kirio Operator. So we added a mail queue to Kirio Operator 2.5, and this can be configured in email services within the administrative interface. This essentially means that emails get queued up, and if they don't get sent for any reason, we try and resend them again. So it makes it more secure, we're more likely, more reliable to send those emails out. So with the new Kirio Operator 2.5, we can now support the Opus codec. The Opus codec is a very flexible audio codec that adapts to varying bandwidth allowances. It's based on um, what was the Skype Silk codec and Sifox Kelt codec. And what this means to us is very good quality audio. If you have a network and it has changing or poor bandwidth conditions, it will provide the best possible audio quality it can with those low bandwidth conditions. If you have a network and you have great bandwidth, um, then it will take advantage of that and you will get the real in-room quality like being there sound. And it will adapt from one to the other. So if the network gets worse, it will adapt down. If the network gets better, it will open that up and give better quality audio. And our Operator 2.5 version comes with a new desktop application. This is Kirio Operator Softphone. So this is a business class tool that SMBs can use to communicate. Um, our SMBs traditionally try and use some of the free tools that are out there. For example, they may use Skype. Skype works very well. We like Skype. However, if you end up using Skype for SMBs who are quite cost sensitive, they don't generally upgrade to Skype for business. And what ends up happening there is they end up having their personal contacts mixed up with their business contacts. So with the Kirio Operator soft phone, our SMBs will be able to have that audio-to-audio -audio communication and video communication with their colleagues without having to mingle that with their personal life. So it really brings back the work-life balance to our customers. So this is a desktop application. When you log into it, it stays logged in. So if you have an incoming call, you'll get a notification. You can see that somebody's calling you and answer it directly on your, on your soft phone, on your laptop. It runs on Windows, it runs on Mac, it runs on Linux as well, so very versatile there. It's server independent and it updates automatically. So when one of our customers comes in in the morning and they run the Kirio Operator soft phone, if there's an update available, it will automatically update so that our uh, end users don't have to think about that. And it comes free with Operator 2.5. So some of the things to call out that it does, it allows you to find people. It has fast lookup with predictive search. So if you want to find somebody to call them, all you need to do is type the first two letters of their name and it will find them. And then um, you can start an audio call or you can start a video call directly from there. It also lets you look at voicemails. So it provides a way to look at voicemails in any order by clicking on them and listening to them in line over here. Don't have to go to the desk phone to do that anymore and go through the press one to listen to a message, press five to delete, etc. And it keeps a whole list of all communications history as well. So missed calls, placed calls, 
received coals can look back through the conversation history and easily call people back. But most importantly, it provides a way to essentially take your desk phone with you. So wherever our customers go, if they're at the airport, if they're at Starbucks, for example, they'll be able to make and receive phone calls if they open up their laptop, even if they're not at the desk. It shares the same extension as they have on their desk in the office. We still support the Kirio Operator soft phone for mobile clients for iOS and Android. So that's another way to take your desk phone with you. We supported that in version 2.4 and we still support that. It hasn't changed very much in the last release, um, but that is available as well. So you can have soft phone capabilities for Mac, for Windows, for Linux, for iOS and for Android as well. It's a, it, it looks different on the mobile application, um, but it gives you the same types of features apart from video, which you get on the desktop application. For our partners that have multiple customers using Kirio Operator, with the 2.5 version of Operator, they can now all be managed from one easy to remember location, which is essentially kirio.com slash mykirio. Very, very easy to remember. It's also possible to manage other Kirio products here as well. It's, uh, our partners can manage all their Kirio control deployments from mykirio, all their Kirio Operator deployments from my Kirio as well. It makes it very easy if a partner has multiple customers to have one place to log in, see all the different customer deployments, and then have that one place to go and manage them. So it takes one username and password instead of multiple usernames and passwords. Our partners don't have to remember IP addresses. Um, they can log in once and access all the deployments that they have from Kirio Operator and Kirio Control as well. And furthermore, with MyCurio, our partners can get notifications for things that are happening on the deployments that they support. So notifications can be delivered to an iPhone, um, also to an iOS app that runs on Apple Watch. So for example, the use case there is if one of our partners needs to go out with the family, but they still want to take care and check that everything is running okay for our customers, they can get notifications that will directly alert them on the Apple Watch and then they can see something's going wrong and they can give it to their attention. And again, a little bit more on our self-provisioning phones. So Operator makes it very easy for our partners to set up customers. Kiri Operator is very easy to set up. The administrative interface is very easy, but the part about provisioning the phones is very easy too. Once it's decided which phones that the customer is going to use. We support self-provisioning of many, many phones. And please check on our website to see the extensive list of phones. We add more self-provisioning phones with each of our releases. We'd added some grand stream video phones in the 2.4 release. We've added a few more grand stream models. We've added Ubiquiti, the UVP series, very nice phones, and also HTEC and SNOM as well. And finally, some system requirements, so things to take note of that are important. So for the soft phone, the Kirio Operator soft phone, that will run on Windows version 7 or later. It will run on Mac 10.11 or later, and it can also run on Linux, Debian 8 or Ubuntu as well. And remember, we do still have that mobile soft phone for iOS and Android. It hasn't significantly changed in the 2.5 release. It's, uh, it provides similar functionality to the desk phone application um, on iOS and Android. Some things to be careful with. Um, backing up to same page is no longer available with version 2.5 we have essentially replaced backing up to same page with backing up to MyCurio. So once our partners upgrade to version 2.5,
keep in mind that if you're backing up to same page before, um, if you need a way to back up to the cloud, you can do that now with MyCurio. And it's still possible to back up with FTP as well. In order to preserve configuration when doing an upgrade, it's also worth taking note that if, if upgrading from version 2.4 to 2.5, 2.5 will keep using the older database format that we used for configuration that 2.4 used. But what to watch out for is if you do a fresh install of Curio Operator 2.5, should you want to downgrade this for any reason, and we hope you don't, we hope you like 2.5, then you won't be able to do this because the configuration database is not compatible for a downgrade. So it's okay to upgrade from 2.4, all the configuration is preserved, a fresh install of 2.5 uses a new configuration database and you can't downgrade to 2.4 after that. You would essentially have to uninstall it and then install 2.4 if you wanted to downgrade. And as I wrap up here, I'll summarize and say that Curio Operator 2.5 it provides enterprise class telephony features. It's a very cost effective, very stable, low maintenance option for our small and medium businesses. To make life easier than ever for our partners, all deployments can now be managed from one centralized cloud-based management tool, which is MyCurio. And to ensure our SMBs get even more value, we've spent a lot of time focusing on our end users in the 2.5 release. We've built them very well-featured soft phone that lets them take their desk phone with them as they move around. And this complements our mobile soft phones nicely. So thank you for joining today. Um, this is a short overview of what's new in 2.5. We will follow on from this webinar with more in-depth product deep dives into various technology areas. Please also note that the next What's New will be for our upcoming release of Curio Connect 9.2, and I look forward to seeing you for that in about a month.